Hey guys, just had a quick story that came to mind. I wanted to tell you before I went to work. Um, so when my friend and I were kids, probably, oh gosh, probably 10, yeah, around 10, let's say, um, actually probably younger, maybe eight, seven or eight. Uh, anyway, my dad had set up a tent in the backyard for us to camp out in, and, uh, uh, the next morning, after we had done the camping, uh, we were, him and I, my friend and I were playing around inside the tent, just, you know, doing stupid kid stuff, and, um, we, there were some bungee cords or some sort of elastic wraps that were, uh, supposed to tie something together in there. Anyway, so my friend and I were, uh, hanging on these bungee cords, and at one point, while I'm yanking on it, jumping around, it rips. One of them rips. And I was like, oh, oh crap, well that broke. I better not mention anything about it because I'll get in trouble. So I put it right back to where I found it, or to where it was connected, and um, just moved on. My friend and I kept playing, didn't even think anything of it. But meanwhile, my mom and dad were in uh, the backyard also, just sitting in some lawn chairs talking. And, um, and my dad had heard me, he must have heard it snap and then me fall over because I'm hanging on it. So obviously I'm going to go flying. And, uh, he called me over a few minutes after and he, he was trying to make, he was talking to mom. I don't know if he was making a point or if they were talking to discussing something or what, but anyway, he, um, He looks at me, he has me come over and says, um, Adam, go, go, go get it. Go get that. And I just look at him like, what? He's like, go, go get it. Go get the thing. Go get the thing. You know what, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And I look at my mom, it's like, do you know what he's talking about? Cause a kid, as a kid, you know, things just leave your head. It's like, oh, this doesn't pertain to me anymore. I didn't think it was a huge deal that the bungee had broken anyway. But my dad just kept saying, just go get it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then finally, after like five minutes of him thinking I'm just playing stupid, I mean, I just was stupid, he uh, finally said, the, the cord in the tent, go get it. It's like, oh, okay, I'll go get that. And uh, I really didn't know what to expect. I wasn't thinking I was in too big of a... I didn't think I was in trouble or anything, but it just seemed weird the way he was uh, having me go get this, this cord. And... I bring it over to him and say, here you go. I thought maybe he's going to fix it or something. I don't know. And he, he takes the bungee cord and he holds it up and looks, looks dead in my eyes, just straight in my eyes and says, no matter what, I will always love you for under any circumstances or situations. I will always love you. It, making you know making a point like i can know i can t i can tell him anything i can talk to him about anything even if i've done something bad you know like that and um and that just that at the time i'm thinking okay am i in trouble what's going on here uh <laughs> it just kind of went over my head but um it's always stuck with me it's always just been seared in my head and um it just, it, I know what he was, I know what he was meaning now that I'm older, and it, it just me means a lot. Um, I don't know, it's just really something I wanted to talk about. I don't know, it just, it's always stuck in my head. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I just, uh. Wanted to say thanks to my parents who've been helping me, you know, through all my problems in life, and they've always been there. Um, my mom's always, you know, there to talk to, my dad is always there to help, and it's just, they've been really great. And, um, yeah, just wanted to say thanks to my parents and share a little story for you guys. So, anyway. Thanks for watching.
Uh, tell your friends, tell your enemies, and I'll talk to you later. Over now.